The course is designed to build on the existing knowledge and experience that leaders have got um, and it provides them with tools, knowledge and skills around strategic thinking, um, leading and developing people for performance um, and also leading strategic change within organisations. The course is, is really nice in that it's designed for everyone from aspiring leaders, so people looking to move into that strategic level, um, to people that have got lots of experience, whether they're senior leaders, directors, business owners or experienced C-suite professionals, um, because it is designed to build on the experience that they've got to date um, and to layer onto that theory and models that they can use and think about problem solving. So it's a great one for anyone at any stage of their career to think about strategic leadership. Hi, so I'm Emma Stratford and I'm a manager at the DHL UK Foundation. I've been there two and a half years now, always with a background in the education and the charity sector, a real passion to support young people with their education and their employability. And so far, the course has given us an abundance of strategies and models and theories that can really be practically applied to our current workplace. The structure of the course has enabled us to go into that depth. We've had really brilliant discussions, either as a large group or as smaller groups, to kind of unpick how we could use these in our current organisation or in our team. So I found that incredibly valuable. So my name's Dave Wolfgang Ferrier. I'm the Assistant Operations Director for an organisation in Manchester called Future Directions. Uh, our purpose and our value really is to support people with disabilities and additional needs um, to have great lives. Uh, we're a values driven organisation, um, so it's a real big focus on leadership and management, how we manage our teams. Our teams are massive, we, we employ about a thousand people across Manchester into Lancashire, so we've got to have a real good strong culture of leadership, management and this is what attracted me to come on this course. The conversations I've had with our managing director over the last two days, we spoke about the course and how this might benefit other leaders that will come through our organisation in the future. Uh, so yeah, without doubt, this is something I think we will do again based on what I've experienced and what I've learned. I'm Sam Priestley, I'm a service director with responsibility for quality, governance and risk at Creative Support, which is a national social care charity. So I've been there for 13 years. I've always worked in the voluntary sector. So I've had a range of leadership skills since I was 26. Um, been chief exec several times of smaller charities. And I work for a big charity and a housing provider. So I'm enjoying being on the exec team. And this course has come a really good time for me. So I would encourage people to come and just um, stop really. Think about where they're up to with the leadership. Uh, think about where they're up to with the strategies. So I've made loads of notes to take back to my workplace. So I think it's very relevant because I think workplaces will get a lot out of it if they send people. But I think on a personal, professional level, I think it's like really reset me in terms of trying some new strategies for the next year or so. Um, and I think I feel quite rejuvenated and refreshed. So with the course, it's accredited with the CMI, so the Chartered Management Institute. And over the three-day course, um, students cover three units for the CMI. So they look at strategic leadership, um, leading and developing people for performance, and then leading strategic change. And at the end of that, they get to choose two of those modules that they want to complete the assignments on. So they'll complete two assignments. Um, and it's very vocational focused. So although it is a, a level seven qualification, it's very much around how they're using that knowledge within their industry and what they're doing. So if people haven't done academic work for a while, if that's not necessarily something they've focused on, that shouldn't put people off because it's very much around what they're doing. Um, and that will then give them the ability to be an affiliate member of the CMI and, and once qualified they can use that as the basis of becoming a chartered manager with the CMI which is always a great recognition to have.